Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. I got one more Colt I wanted to show you from the back of my safe. I don't bring this one out very much. Um, it's, a, it's a Colt Police Positive. And um, as you can see, it, it's in mint condition. Not a scratch on it, not a holster wear blemish. The tip is in mint shape. There's no wear on this gun whatsoever. When I tell you the year, you're going to be like, what? I wish I had the box and, and the paperwork for it because it would be worth a small fortune. This is a 1917, over 100 years old, police positive, 32 Smith & Wesson long rifle. Not a 38 special, but a 32 Smith & Wesson long rifle, LR. Uh, it's got a 6-inch barrel. It is empty and I can't believe that police used to carry this gun but uh, this is what they used to carry in some districts would carry this this six inch tiny uh, if I were to put this up with one of my J frames you would see that it's about the frame is about the size of a J frame um, it's it's just before they introduced the police positive special which was a 38 special in this exact gun and, f and frame with a beefed up cylinder and possibly I think they beefed up the frame as well but as you can see it is in just immaculate immaculate condition for over a hundred year old gun and I'm lucky to have it in my collection as you've heard me say before, I'm not a huge Colt enthusiast. I'm more of a Smith & Wesson enthusiast, enthusiast when it comes to revolvers. Um, but I, there is some certain Colts that I do own that mean a lot to me. And I'm sure they mean a lot to you. So I just uh, was uh, doing this other video prior to this one. And reached way in the back of my safe. And forgot I even had this back there. Again, I wish I had the box. These are the original grips from 1917 and as you can see it's just in immaculate immaculate shape it's such a tiny little gun it's almost as if it's a toy a toy gun and I and I'm hard-pressed to believe that police would carry this back in the day um, I'm getting fingerprints all over it um, the bluing is in immaculate shape it's a very dark blue almost black um, it's hard to tell in this video that it's blue. Um, it's probably the darkest blue I've ever uh, imagined that you could make a blue before it was black because it does look black in, in most lighting. Again, 30, 32 Smith & Wesson long rifle, very small uh, bullet, um, very unique six shooter in my opinion. Uh, even the hammer is still blued. Um, it has been dry fired because the hammer does have a little tiny side wear right there. And again, I'm putting fingerprints all over it. Um, I, I, I can't impress upon you how immaculate this gun is for 1917, especially over a hundred years old. I just wanted to pull this out and, uh, and show you guys, um, in, I think it was the early, early, you know, before 1917, 1900s or so, when they first introduced the police positive to in uh, law enforcement, uh, the law enforcement firearms market, um, and the police positive was itself incrementally modified in 1908, forming the basis for Colt's police positive special which again, the special would have been in 38 special, a, a much larger bullet, a higher velocity, a heavier, uh, heavier bullet, a more effective round for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, 1917, can you believe that? Just in mint, immaculate shape. Um, I've only fired it once, six rounds. Prior to that, I would say that it was in a collector's hands because I don't think it was fired more than six rounds prior to, prior to me firing six rounds out of it. And again, it just sits in my safe. 
uh, collecting uh, <laughs> dust, if you will. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the box or the paperwork for it. If I did, that would probably put this in the four to five thousand dollar range. As it sits, it's probably worth I don't know, fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars without the box. And if I were to judge this on a scale of one to one to a hundred, I would say this is probably ninety eight percent. Um, you know, in my in ninety eight percent condition. Just a beautiful gun. Just another short video I wanted to share with you. The channel is growing. I'm happy to have you guys here making the comments that you're making. If you have any comments on this gun, I sure would like to hear them. Um, I'm not huge on Colt. I'm more of a Smith & Wesson guy. Um, but when I saw this, I had to have it. And it just sits in my safe. So uh, if you're in Michigan and you want to go shoot and hit me up, I'll be more than happy to go take this puppy out at the range and uh and hang out with you uh but if you're enjoying my videos please hit the like and subscribe button leave a comment the channel's starting to grow and i'd like you to be with me as it grows so i hope you're enjoying my videos have a good one